Well, studies show that the risk for chronic disease can go up based on experiences you have as a child. 17's Aaliyah Fitzgerald's joining us in studio this morning with more on this test. Aaliyah? Yeah, does the body really keep the score? We talked to a local clinical psychologist to find out more. ACE stands for Adverse Childhood Experiences. The ACE test is comprised of questions about experiences before the age of 18. You answer yes or no to inquiries about abuse, neglect, and household dysfunction. At the end of the test, you're given a score. The higher your score, the higher your risk for disease, according to the test creators. And local clinical psychologist Dr. Corey Gonzalez says that there's some truth to it. ACE has been able to help predict who is more vulnerable to having problems medically and psychologically later on in life. It relates back to the toxic stress response to threats of danger in the home, which can affect the development of the brain. I often refer to this as a fight or flight response. And if you get too much of that going on when you're young, you're exposed to a lot of trauma, again, what will happen is that will get uh, impacted or it can sort of damage a fight or flight response. You're having these adrenaline, stress-related hormones flowing in your body at an early age when you're supposed to be safe and have you know, a certain type of constancy and reliability so you can d develop. If you're having a lot of stress and chronic stress during that time, it can affect the development of the brain. If your ACE score is four or higher, you're deemed high risk for toxic stress. Experts say you can counteract the negative experiences in your past and learn to regulate the stress response through mindfulness, meditation, and going into nature. Now we have a link to the ACE test on our website, kget.com. Maddie, back over to you.